is Amanda from The Fundamental Home. It's July and for Frugal Family Food this month, we are focusing on summertime treats. We wanna help you save money by making sure there's treats available every day for your family so they're not going through your refrigerator or your cabinets looking for something. Uh, it's 4th of July time and we are trying to make treats for your Independence Day celebrations. So today we're gonna to make fruit sparklers. Let me show you what we're gonna use. Here we have our ingredients. We have frozen fruit, raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. You need a watermelon, mason jars, enough for your sparklers, a star-shaped cookie cutter, and bamboo skewers. The thing we're gonna do is slice our watermelon. And we're just gonna cut it in good-sized chunks. You're gonna need a sharp knife for this. Get that edge off. And you probably wanna make it just about maybe three quarters of an inch wide. I always have to go in at the tip with this one. You don't want it to be too thin when you're doing your slices because the slices won't hold up when you have them on the bamboo skewer. They'll slide down. So there's one slice. of slices you make depend on the size of your watermelon and how many fruit sparklers you're going to make. We're going to start with these few and see how many sparklers we can make with it. Okay, so we're going to take this cutter that we got at Dollar Tree and we're just going to find a nice place to put it and press it down and cut out our star shape. We'll take that and place it over here. Find another good place to do it. these pieces. We're going to use them in fruit salsa tomorrow. So we're going to put these aside. For now we're going to take our bamboo skewers and start our fruit sparklers. We're going to go ahead and take our watermelon and put it on our bamboo skewer. If there's any white, make sure it's facing towards the bottom. We're going to poke the hole in it. And there it is, making sure it looks like a little sparkler. When we're done, we're going to place it in here. Okay, so I have a plate of frozen fruit, and the reason why I like to use frozen is because my kids actually prefer to eat, for instance, frozen blueberries versus fresh blueberries. They just really like the taste of it, particularly in the summer. Uh, it just it makes it a little bit uh, cooler in terms of a treat. So I like to use frozen, uh, plus it'll last a little bit longer on the skewer if it's sitting out at your barbecue. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these. Try to make sure you get firm ones, particularly these raspberries. Um, they can get a little mushy after they sit. So make sure you try to find some nice firm ones. And I, you can cut the strawberries as small as you like. I like slices just for a little bit different look. So let's load up our skewers. any order or no order, but fill it a little bit and put it on your skewer and put it in your mason jar. Okay, here you have it. It is our beautiful fruit sparklers. Um, you can see I did a variety of different fruit and having it in the mason jar keeps all the drippings in one spot. It's, it's kind of messy, but the kids love it, particularly when you go outdoors. And also, if you have, first of all, this should not be done with toddlers. You gotta watch it with the bamboo skewers. Secondly, with older kids, you might even have them make their own variety of fruit on the bottom. Um, so that's also fun. That way you don't have to be the one um, doing all of the actual work, plus they enjoy it. So anyway, I hope you give this a try. We actually have this, uh, if you want the instructions, they're linked on the blog post at frugalfamilyfood.com. You'll find the link in the description box. And uh, we hope you go there and check out all of our other fun summertime treats. Like I said, I'm gonna use the leftover watermelon and uh, berries to make a delicious fruit salsa. And you guys can check that out tomorrow. So thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye. 
Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!